it was through the Tang Gang that I actually got to really get into the ecosystem of Pulse Chain. And the reason why was just seeing all the education, um, seeing all the support for artists from a grassroots type of level or base level kind of got me engaged within the whole ecosystem. Um, and I guess I just wanted to say, like, Ben, you're a polarizing figure in crypto, right? Whether you like like you or hate you, you're a well-known figure. And you are maybe, you know, the beginning wave of big people in crypto coming into this ecosystem and shedding light on it, right? So I guess I would implore, I guess I would implore the Hex community, Pulse community to kind of stop the, you know, the in-house fighting because when people are like, like, it's your house, right? Y'all built it. Y'all, y'all forked it and y'all made people to come in shedding light and then having problems in-house because it's not a good look, right? Because there's a perceived cabal within Hex. There are people who idolize Richard as like this demigod. There are some people who respect his knowledge and some people who don't win him. And you got all these melt out of clashing. I think it's imperative that everybody just kind of work together to prop up the chain, not the price, but prop up what's inherently intrinsically valuable within this ecosystem so that when people like Ben or, or anybody else, Vital, anybody else comes in, that is kind of like a, a clean house, if, if that can make sense. Um... And do appreciate you coming, Ben, because you coming here is going to shed light on it. It's going to bring more attention to your followers that you built up and worked up to get, um, rightfully so. So that's just kind of like what I wanted to say, not necessarily a question or anything like that. And the Tang Gang, to me, is undervalued as a community and a commodity because of the education and the support for people that they present. So that's kind of like all I wanted to say. Well, I, I appreciate those comments. Um, and you did refer, uh, what really stuck out to me is you did refer to, there is a group of people out there uh, that, you're right, worship Richard as a demigod. Um, and um, I just want to say I'm a proud member. Thank you. <laughs> All right, man. All right, you take care, man. Doc, thanks, buddy. Hey, guys. I um, just wanted to thank you for the space and say good day to Ben. I appreciate that you you put me in a really, really good position to kind of understand crypto, learning from some amazing people. There's some great people in the community, founders. Uh, the education is second to none. Um, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, the guys are fantastic and very supportive. So, yeah, I, I would definitely um, get in that Builders uh, Guild and uh, check out the projects that are there, um, get educated, and, yeah, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Appreciate that. Cheers, brother. All right, we got Filipino Super Bowl. We got uh, Gary, and, uh, yeah, that's where we're at so far. Uh, thanks uh, for uh, letting me speak. Thanks for uh, uh, coming in, Ben, and Corey, for holding it all down in the community, like always. Um, uh, ben, thank you, uh, you know, when I started getting into crypto, maybe four years ago, five years ago, uh, you know, you're one of the crypto influencers that, uh, you know, I pressed the, the like button and subscribe to and, um, you know, to move it all fast forward to know that you're rocking with the Hex community. Uh, thank you. Uh, you know, uh, regardless of, I'm sure you got those a lot today. But my question is, I'm sh um, if Richard Hart was here right now listening, what would you want to tell him right now uh, if he was here listening? Uh, I do not like his decision to stop being outlandish with his clothes. Uh, bring back the Burberry bonnet. Uh, that's what I would want. Uh, no, look, I, I, uh, that's a good question. Um, cause I think Richard knows me. Uh, I think Richard knows me well. And I think he knows that I really kind of wanted to talk about hex, but he, I mean, look guys, you, you gotta understand and, and you guys are gonna get to know me a little bit better than most of you do. And the people who know me that are here, like Corey, will tell you, I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> like I'm not. Uh, the image is painted about what, look, I'm loud. I am loud. I talk a lot. I'm brash. Uh, and I'm not afraid to attack people. That's for sure. Um, which maybe I'm going to stop doing uh, as much. Uh, but the point is, is that, um, you know, I, I genuinely do care. Um, and, and I think Richard knows that. Um, and Richard knows that I, I mean, we've had conversations uh, when he was here uh, about that. And the, one of the big, one of the big, Kind of the big thing between me and Richard that, of disagreement is leverage trading. I think leverage trading is fine. Uh, I do it. Uh, I've been very successful with it over the years. And, I, and, I, and that, that's kind of the one thing that we uh, disagree on. Uh, we basically agree on everything else. Um, so I, I think if Richard were here and he were listening, uh, the thing I would definitely want to tell him, number one, 
uh, would be Richard. Uh, I would love uh, to get you on my show uh, for us to do another interview uh, or uh, for us to have a conversation off the record about how maybe I can help uh, with what's going on with the legal stuff. Um, any message that he wanted me to get out, I would do. Uh, so that's what I would say to him. So awesome. No, I, I appreciate that, Ben. And I do want to vouch for Ben a hundred thousand percent on this respect because I've actually met him in New York. Uh, I've streamed with him, um, you know, just a quick story and then I'll shut up. It'd be like two minutes. So basically, um, the whole FTX thing happened. I made a tweet about Ben request, uh, requested if Ben would come on my channel to speak with me, uh, literally got an interview on the books in a week. Um, then I asked him if he wanted to do an interview about his book, catching up to crypto, which by the way is a fantastic book. Um, and I'm, he told me I can interview him live in New York city. Now there was like 300 people at this, um, at, at, at this meetup. So I didn't want to pester him about it. And literally he came up to me while I was walking up to him to, um, and was like, Hey, we're still doing that interview. Right. And I was very, very kind of bamboozled by that because it, it showed a sense of character. Like I didn't forget my word. Um, you know, there's more than, you know, a man's got his word and his balls. So, you know, that word was very important. So I've met Ben personally, um, and I really do appreciate what he's done for cryptocurrency. Um, took my friend out to dinner and I didn't know my friend from a hole in the wall, um, but he brought him anyway, brought like 15 people. So uh, I, I do want to say I vouch for Ben in regards to the notion of when he says something, um, he's true to his word. So I just want to say that. Um, I see that Pulse Domains keeps getting kicked for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so we're going to go, um, Gary, then Pulse Domains, then Dylan, then, uh, no, then Katie, then KG, then Dylan. I think that was the order. If I'm wrong, just say it. Yeah. I uh, just wanted to echo what's been said before this. There's different people that have different talents inside of this uh, community. I see that Katie joined the space. I think of her as someone that's, uh, cross different development products. Uh, you know, someone that can speak technical and be a liaison for the community about like what's going on. The same thing with identity block that was up earlier. Like he's been in this community for five, six years, maybe longer, uh, you know, back in the straight days before Hex even had a logo or a name. And, uh, you know, his specialty is, uh, you know, kind of reviewing the tax implica implication or the, the custody issues and things like that. So you have a council uh, at your fingertips of people that have network or knowledge um, that, I, that I do hope you leverage. Uh, going it on your own, like I, I, there was earlier uh, some other people that, that have fairly large audiences saying, hey, if I make content about Pulse Chain, uh, would you guys watch it? Now, we don't need just someone that just has a megaphone. We, we really don't. I, I think that there's plenty of people that can step into that role. What we, what we are craving, I think, is someone that, uh, you know, is, again, congruent with their words and their actions and basically here's the the knowledge base that's already here you know the the people doesn't matter if they were started 5 years ago 6 years ago years ago with richard it doesn't really matter if they're an expert in their space in their niche inside this culture and they have the respect of others uh you know again we're trying to offer that uh as a resource yeah. but yeah well, again I, glad that you're I, here yeah i'd like to say on that the conversation yeah sorry i don't mean to keep speaking you over um uh, i tend to that's a habit i have a bad habit i'm sorry everybody um but I think that really what I want to, um, yeah, that's definitely something that I would like, uh, you know, help with. Um, and, but, and that is exactly, you just have to understand, like, uh, I, I want to do this hex podcast. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, because, uh, you know, it's going to be a vehicle for me to be able to learn all the most important things about hex and bullshit chain from the leaders in this space, the leaders and, you know, the people that, the people that, other people's community look up to as the leaders. Uh, so that's actually like the real reason I want to do this hex podcast. It's not so I can just put out content. It's so that's exactly what I want to do is now work with all the best people, uh, in hex. And, um, once I get through the, my list, I think I've got about 20 people. I think, I think that's about what I got on my list. It's about 20. Uh, and then after that, we'll see where it develops from there. You know, I could stop it. It might be a limited run podcast where I just do it with all these people and, uh, get the knowledge and the information and the networking uh, and put out the content, or maybe it'd be a thing I continue, uh, or who knows, maybe a thing that maybe I would give to somebody else and somebody else could continue. Uh, I just don't have, you guys know I'm short on time all the time, but, um, I'm going to give as much as I can. Uh, and I, I think that that, that's, you know, super exciting, uh, to do that podcast in order to be able to make these connections. So cool.
Well, just to, again, to help with your efficiency is I'm sure that there's plenty of volunteers. There's plenty that make memes. There's plenty that make videos, walkthroughs. And basically, if you just like could incorporate it into your show, then, uh, you know, I think that that's useful use, uh, of your time. Yeah, I, I think that's a great idea because one of the one of my goals. Um, hey, look, uh, and OK, so I just got to say this here. Uh, you guys understand um, my involvement with Hex it and pulse chain it will come in, in waves it will go it will come and go in waves uh because the way that i operate my channel my business is i can't 100 percent dedicate myself to one community and so because of that uh there's times where there's exciting things on the cardano blockchain and i gotta kind of go be over there while that stuff is going on because it's what people care about um but i want you guys to understand uh that within the next two months i am going to be heavily integrated in this community period. I'm going to be, um, I want to be. And, and the more <laughs> I'll be really honest with you guys, this is going to sound cheesy. This is going to sound stupid. Uh, but the more I do these spaces with you guys and talk to you guys behind the scenes, even, uh, the more I love you guys. And the more that I want to be involved, uh, because I haven't, I haven't really had a community embrace me like this, to be honest with you. Uh, the XRP people don't even really like me. Uh, the Cardano people think they're all smarter than me and I don't understand it. Uh, the Solana people are all mad at me because I said the block, I got information from another influencer and I said it and it was wrong. Uh, so they've been mad at me for over a year on that. And of course I said Solana was going to die, which I thought it was. It seemed legit at the time, didn't it? Uh, but that man, that thing is bounced back. And now I'm, uh, you get, you guys understand what I've done with the Solana of Solana. The Solana of Solana thing is a gigantic joke. Uh, but obviously it is real because I do know the price of Solana is going to go up a lot, period. Uh, so <laughs> my plan with that was I'm going to to declare myself the leader of the Solana army. Uh, and then I'm going to, uh, you know, when all the new people come into the bull run, uh, they're just going to know me as the leader and it's going to be really funny. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. so that is a little joke, uh, but definitely not what I'm doing with you guys as a joke. But uh, my point is, is I, I, I lead a, a lot of people look at me as one of the leaders of a lot of different communities in crypto. Um, but about half those about half the XRP people, it's about the normal ratio for me. About half those people hate me and about half those people love me. Um, and so this community is the first one that, like, I really honestly feel embraced by. And it, it, it makes me, uh, it makes me want to do more for you guys. It really does. Um, it, it, so it's, uh, it's a new experience for me. I, I feel like we've kind of found each other. Right. <laughs> like no. you guys are the rejected blockchain. I'm the rejected influencer. Uh, and here we are, I got thrown out of my own business guys. Yeah. Um, right. so it, it, it feels right. So, um, I think once, once I hit this pulse chain conference and people actually hang out with me in real life and see how fun and cool I am, I don't mean that like, Hey, I'm the coolest guy ever, but I mean, I'm just a normal person is what I'm trying to say. I'm just chill, uh, in real life. I'm not out. <laughs> I'm not out ranting. Uh, when we're going to play top golf, I'm not out there ranting because, uh, you know, somebody beat me, uh, you know, like that's not real life for me. Um, certainly I do a lot of rants on the show, but, um, yeah, so, uh, definitely I'm going to be integrated in this community and it's going to be fun and I'm excited about it. And then, you know, more you guys embrace me, more I'm going to embrace you. So, um, I think that's just kind of the way that relationships work. No, I, I want to bring up that point too. Like for the people who, you know, for the people who say all oh, like you should only be pulse chain and hex, but like, I've said this many times before that, like when you have a content creator that's multifaceted that does pulse chain solana cardano um whatever chia ethereum xrp like when they watch that channel it's a multifaceted channel where if the entirety of the cardano by ben and then the next day he makes a video about you know an update surrounding either rh or a massive update surrounding pulse chain in total, maybe something happens with PulseX or something like that that's positive. It's it gets eyes from it's other true. communities, and and I've done. Corey, Corey gets it. Corey, Corey gets it. This is exactly right what he's saying. Exact. It, I couldn't sum it up better than the way Corey's saying it. Uh, you're doing a fantastic job, Corey. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. That's what I've been trying to convey over the last two years. That like this is how it's better to not be a one ecosystem community. It's better to be multifaceted because then other communities come in with some type of diff there's a diffusion aspect to it. So don't be so quick with the pitchforks. Um, you know, if you know he does a bunch of pulse chain stuff and then for a month he covers Cardano because there's something to do with like Sunday swap or the CIP sixteen ninety four vote happens in Cardano or something like that. So um I know KG has to uh 
I know KG has to go. Um, so I'm going to have KG speak first. Um, and uh, then we will go to Pulse Domains. And then I believe it was K uh, Katie, Dylan, uh, Brennan, and then Crypto Knight. Hey, Corey, I appreciate you letting me jump in line. Thanks for everybody's patience. I did just want to step down and say, again, thank you for the space. Ben, welcome to the Pulse Chain community. I'm glad you feel embraced. And I do just want to echo what Corey said. Don't be afraid to be a multi-chain guy. That is the crypto reality of the future. And by you doing that, you're only going to bring more eyes onto Pulse Chain. So not only do I think the majority of us would appreciate that, we would encourage you integrating Pulse Chain into your multi-chain narrative. So welcome aboard, brother. Look forward to building with you. Thanks, Corey. No problem. Thank you. Hey, GB, easy, buddy. Thanks for coming up here. And congratulations for the shout out for RH today. It was well deserved. And, uh, it, you know, I'm glad it happened now. God, God bless. No Thanks, problem. Brother. All right. So we have uh, Pulse Domains, then Katie, then Dylan, then Brennan, then Crypto Knight. What's up, everyone? Hey, what's up, Ben? Uh, great to meet you here. And um, yeah, I just wanted to touch on a couple of points that have been, you know, set in the group and also double down on some others. Um, I think number one, and for those who've been in the Pulse Chain Hex community for quite some time, uh, the community overall experienced a little bit of PTSD uh, due to constant gatekeeping and, you know, new individuals entering the space and abusing and extracting value. So don't take this any personal, don't take, please don't take this personal when you see, you know, comments and so on. And I know you mentioned you don't take it personal, but it's not, it's not coming from a perspective of something against you. It's mainly just like a pattern that we've seen in the past. And, uh, you know, a lot of folks experience PTSD. Um, with the same token, uh, I think time, uh, and with the same token, you know, it seems like that we have some trauma bonding now. Uh, Pulse Chain in the Hex was the rejected chain or token. And, uh, you know, the experience that you went through uh, gives us something to bond over. And I think, you know, gives you also totally a different perspective on, on how to view this entire space generally and all of the things that are happening. So that's really good to see. But then also things have changed. Uh, Pulse Chain is eight months young uh, with 200 plus projects. Uh, most of the projects are fully homegrown. There's 50,000 validators. You know, Pulse Chain has, you know, uh, uh, is number 10 in total value locked. Pulse X is, you know, number eight in, in, in volume. So there's a lot of to explore. And also a lot of the builders are homegrown, building away uh, without any funding and essentially want to create products to make this chain awesome. Um, in addition to that, I think, you know, uh, especially from a pers perspective for you, you know, who to trust and is it this project or that project that I should you know, support or mention and so on. I think you, you're, you're currently surrounding yourself with great people, be it Corey, be it Gary, be it Katie, be it RG3, and many, many others. Those individuals really have the best interests um, in mind for the entire community, have been around for, for a long time, and know the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right, so I think I think you're surrounding them, uh, you're surrounding yourself with the right people is, is a really great first step. And then I think also something that uh, the entire community, uh, at least from our side, we would really appreciate. You 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 provide really valuable insights uh, from a from an outsider looking into Pulse Chain, uh, looking into the builders. Right, you're covering all of the chains. You you know the strengths, the weaknesses, and so on. And I think one question, and that, that I would look close up with is like, what is your perception? How can we as a community, uh, as leaders in the community, as builders in the community, build more bridges, but then also shift the per perception of Pulse Chain in its entirety around? Yeah, I think I, I think you just hit it head on. And I think really, uh, I, don't, I don't know if people are going to love this answer, um, but I, I think the key for Pulse Chain is to separate from Hex. And I don't mean separate, like, you yep. know, I just mean in marketing, uh, it stands independent. It doesn't need, it doesn't need X. Um, and, and I think that that's the way that we start changing this entire narrative. Uh, that's the, yeah, that's the path. That's how we do it. Uh, uh that you separate pulse chain and you get pulse chain seen as independent, not attached to hex that makes all the people who are the haters of hex, um, uh, have to start saying, okay, well, listen, okay. Hex obviously is a scam. Duh. Everybody knows that. Uh, but okay, well, they made this other chain. I guess it's permissionless. It's open source. You know, it's not certificate of deposit. Uh, obviously Richard was scamming with that. Uh, but this, 
and it was built by developers, you know, Richard, I don't know if they're the same people. Uh, okay, but I guess it's legit. Okay, this Pulse chain is legit. And so what happens is once people start recognizing and realizing that Pulse chain stands on its own, okay, now the, the, the look back in retrospect towards Hex and saying, okay, if this guy built Pulse chain and it works and it stands independent and it's open source and permissionless, and he also built Hex, and you know what? Those people made a lot of money, and people still like it. And, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with the price this year. I've got a price prediction video coming out uh, next week. Uh, I got delayed a little bit because I had to go out of town for, you know, Cassie's dad died. A lot of people know that. But um, the, the point is, is that um, it, it's all got to happen with Pulse. No, no the, the general public that know, the general crypto public, it's a very small slice, uh, but they generally already made their mind up on Hex. A lot of these people know that Pulse Chain somehow is connected to Hex, but they don't even understand how. Um, and, and, and I think that's really the path that we need to go on is separating those. I, I think that's the key to the entire thing, and that's that's my message. And it, it's not it's not being dismissive of Hex. It's not saying like, hey, uh, you know, Pulse Chain's good. Uh, yeah, you guys don't like Hex. Okay, we'll just be dismissive of it. No, look at Pulse Chain. No, it's not that. It's still speaking favorably of Hex when it's, uh, needed to be spoken favorably of, uh, but it really is putting the focus and understanding that because you guys have this new great opportunity with Pulse Chain, uh, I think this can kind of go back and rewrite the entire narrative. I, I, I think, uh, gosh, I love this. Uh, I think one day uh, in crypto, people are going to look back at Richard as a pioneer and a hero. Uh, I love that, actually. Um, who knows? Maybe me too, uh, instead of a villain. Uh, but I, I, th I think one day he will get his due. Um, and uh, hopefully maybe it's after he, you know, defeats the SEC. Absolutely. And, uh, guys also just please make sure when you're done speaking to step down, there are a lot of people requesting and I want to get to all of them as much as I possibly can. Um, so uh, when... and, and let's, I will, um, uh, we've already been doing this since what time? Five 30. Uh, I will commit until seven 30. Uh, so I'll do perfect, another 40 wanna, minutes. That's perfect, because I want to I go to the gym myself, so perfect. Um, I already hit it. I already hit the gym. Yeah, yeah Ben, uh, welcome. You know, uh, you're kind of in a community of misfits, um, you know, over the, the past year or so. You've kind of found yourself in difficult situations. Uh, you know, we've been in these situations for a while in the community. <coughs> I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just want to say welcome and uh you mentioned uh, leverage trading earlier, uh, and I just wanted to bring you to light of you know the products that we got on Pulse Chain that involve leverage like Liquid Loans, which deals with stable coins and borrowing against your Pulse. Uh, soon you'll have you know stable coins against your Pulse X that you can borrow against and uh, lever up with that. You can obviously visit the uh, the Fame stuff, uh, the PH product suite, right, where uh, you can see the GMX fork that we've got. That's been up since September, and uh, it's processed like I don't know, four hundred million dollars in volume um, and cash flow. I think two point four million dollars in fees, um, which is impressive on Pulse Chain, which everyone says and claims is dead, right? And I mean, even Liquid Loans. Uh, I think north of what fifty million dollars in TVL. Am I? Uh, is that wrong or is that right, Katie? Can you uh, correct me there? No, it's wrong. Okay, yeah. So I mean, there is impressive TVL happening. There's impressive volume happening on Pulse Chain. It is a vibrant community, which I think you've noticed. There's no VC funding on this chain, right? It was all homegrown, you know, backwoods Florida, fundraised. Um, and, uh, you know, we're all a big happy family. We have our fights inwards all the time. But generally speaking, we're all here for the betterment of the chain. And, uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to say welcome. And, uh, you know, glad you're here, dude. Yeah, well, thank you for uh, welcoming me. Um, uh, I always trust someone who has a Gucci jacket on in their profile picture. Thank you. Well, thank you, sir. Yes. All right. So, Dylan, thank you for that. Again, like when you guys are done speaking, don't take it personally if I put you down to a listener. It's just that there's so many yeah. people. Think. Dylan, thanks, thanks for it. No problem. Um, so we have Katie next, then Brennan, then Crypto Knight, then Brandon, then The Verse. So, Katie, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, guys. Um, 
Ben, I just want to say thanks for embracing our community. Um, I know we're a whole entire bunch of misfits and unorthodox sometimes, but, you know, when you actually, like, get into the community, which you are now, and you start connecting with people, they really, like, they're a bunch of amazing people. So, like, most people know I didn't like Richard when I first got here and I didn't like Hex. Um, so, you know, I went on a huge learning curve and I had to go do my own research and now I've ended up being a bit of a maxi, you know. So, like, but the community is what brought me in. Um, the community literally adopted me you may as well say right like the people here are something that just makes the chain unique um and yeah i think it's really awesome but i really wish people would stop leading with like the toxicity within the community you know like you guys need to put that aside it's in every single ecosystem that you move into like if you go over to ethereum it's got the same things over there so if you don't tell people about it they literally hardly notice and ben could like validify that as being such a big guy in crypto and having such a large youtube channel in the past like those people are just noise if you leave with the like best people in the community and you have those voices those are the people that they actually pay attention to so don't draw attention to the wreck shit draw attention to the best shit because like we have everything forked on pulse chain that makes every other chain great yeah. like we have a gmx fork and gmx is what made arbitrum popular like we have everything but we didn't have a grant program to do it right like every other chain has a grant program to get 10 bridges to get the best protocols on chain we didn't have any of that we had a community so like we speak volumes for ourselves we don't always have to focus on the negative it's the positive you know, like our tvl in different protocols that are on chain right now is next level and they're only a couple of months old right like even moving away from pulse x even though it's the main dex on chain the community built protocols are standing on their own as well so you know the chain speaks volumes and people like Ben, they don't pay attention to the noise. It's just wrecks that no one cares about. Like, <laughs> hey, I appreciate that, and and I think you're right. Uh, I've always uh, having kept the community at a bit of a distance. Um, you're right; it, they do come off as a little crazy for sure. Uh, but you are a hundred percent correct that now that I'm actually inside of it, they don't seem as crazy. It's a little weird. I, it is an interesting, uh, you know, interesting character study, I guess there. Um, but yeah, so I, I think that, uh, appreciate all the, all the kind words and, um, you know, I, I know there is, you're right. There is a, a, a bit of a learning curve and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, definitely excited to be here. And I, I think to address what you were saying about toxicity, I, and it really backs up what I was saying earlier, uh, which is it, what you said about every community having the toxicity is exactly correct. Um, the difference between hex and let's say XRP uh, is that the XRP community, it, look, it's kind of rejected too a little bit, but it's more mainstream. It's, it's, you know, there's not reasons to leave it really with hex when people kind of come in and they test things out. Um, and if they encounter toxicity, I think there's this belief that they're going to reject you guys too, because there are some rude people. Cause there were some people that were saying some negative things. Uh, oh my gosh, uh, I'm going to get out. Uh, when they might experience that, they're going to experience it anywhere. Um, and so I, I, I think, right, embracing the fact that the toxicity, it does exist and just ignoring it and not feeding into it. And, you know, it's obvious that I mean, people know this about social media by now is that if you engage with that stuff or interact with it, that's what actually gives it power uh, by actually like telling the person that they're wrong or you don't like what they said, you're actually helping them. Uh, the dislike button counts exactly the same in the algorithm for YouTube as the like button. <laughs> so all they want are reactions. And so the best way to, to you know, you're never going to stop toxicity, but the best way to tamp it down a little bit is just don't engage with it and ignore it. And uh, trust me, I could write a manual on how to do that. <laughs> so, um, but thanks, Katie. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, I think we, I think we've maybe, maybe we messaged before on Twitter. I can't remember. I think we've talked before if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, yeah, but uh, appreciate appreciate uh, everything you said. Absolutely. And also, guys, if you don't have your hand up here, I'm going to assume that you're not going to speak. So please raise your hand or else I'm going to move you down, um, please. So uh, uh, I see Yellow Cake, Fast, Ab uh, Fast Abdul, if you could just raise your hand. Gary, if you're up here, please raise your hand. Um, so, um, yeah, so I can put more people up here. Um, so we have, uh, who the hell was next? Uh, Brendan, Brendan, what's up, buddy? Brendan, the, the orange. What's going on, Corey? Thanks for uh, showing up, Ben. Um, it's interesting that Katie brought up the toxicity cause I was going to kind of segue into that and, and kind of give my, my take on that. Um, you know, this community has been beaten up, dude. Like, I don't think any crypto community has been as gatekept 
and downtrodden as the Richard Hart ecosystem. You know, they just like intentionally go out of their way to like not list us on things because of like personal uh, vendettas or personal opinions on how Richard launched a token or whatever. But the fact that we're still around and building in this bear market and we actually launched a layer one chain through all that just shows you the passion of the community. And sometimes that passion kind of overflows into what we might call toxicity, right? So the way I see it, you have essentially the cult of Hex, the cult of Richard Hart. And that's really, I mean, it's kind of true. I, I think we should lean into that because what crypto community that's like not super successful has not been a cult, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, all those guys, they're called maxis for a reason because they're super passionate about it. The problem with a cult is you, you indoctrinate them with certain ideas, right? Like Hex is the best thing. Don't buy anything else. Don't leverage trade. Everything else is a scam. Don't get wrecked, right? These are all the things that Richard sort of was teaching people for a long time and it worked, but the cult got bigger and it changed. We're on a layer one now, right? Hex is not the only thing under the sun. We have other stuff going on. And as your friend, somebody would say, who I, I do hope you interview, he's a really funny guy, but and he has a lot of good insights. A layer one chain is more like a city, right? A city doesn't just have churches like the church of Hex. A city has gas stations. It has flipping flies. It has, you know, restaurants. It has uh, banks, right? Everything needs to be there so that when people come over, they can do what they want to do, whether that be mint NFTs for super cheap, leverage trade, you know, take out loans, whatever they want to do, they should be able to do it at the city or else it's not a very healthy city, right? So to me, and what I want to say to you is, as much as we're giving you advice, I think your experience comes into play as well, because you've been in other communities and you've seen how they grow. We need help too of how to like sort of break out of just being a uh, like a one token ecosystem into a, a fully fledged, you know, layer one legitimate chain. So, you know, I, I mentioned that that cult thing and that indoctrination. You can kind of see it even from Richard, right? We are literally reprogramming ourselves in real time. Richard, for the first time ever, is tweeting about projects that have launched on his blockchain. And this just started happening with, within the past few weeks. That is the signal that the cult is changing. We're, cha we're, we're updating our doctrine, Old Testament versus New Testament. It's time to get bigger, right? So you're going to see some toxicity. You're going to see some people who, you know, hey, listen, I have a ton of hacks. I love it. But I'm not going to down, you know, I'm not going to shout down people who buy other stuff or who like other tokens that have nothing to do with hex on Pulse Chain because I understand that if you're in the city, it's good for all of us, right? So part of that, right. part of that, that cult is, is, you know, us getting reprogrammed and sort of like changing our worldview. It's taking time. There's, there's a little bit of toxicity going around, like Katie mentioned, but ultimately I think you're seeing it happen in real time. And I think everybody eventually will come to the, to the conclusion that it's better for all of us if we just lean into everything that we can offer, not just, you know, the Richard Hart coins, which we all love and will support anyway. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, I, I think that's good. And I, I think that city uh, com uh, analogy is good. Uh, I think of it kind of uh, the way I think of blockchain. Uh, I think of individual blockchains as app stores. That's what I think. Um, I think, you know, uh, right now, Ethereum is Apple. Um, and I guess Solana right now would be Google, I guess you could kind of say. Um, or the, that the Android store or whatever. Uh, that's and, and if you think you can break that down similarly as well, uh, because you can say, okay, well, you have games over here. Okay, over here you have financial apps. Over here, you have social media apps, so it kind of it, it kind of fits kind of the same narrative too. Um, and I would like to say, and I, I understand that there's going to be a lot of people. Probably the majority of people uh, are not going to get this. Uh, but when you do talk about cults and everything's a cult, I would like to point out uh, that I do think that Richard is my twin flame, uh, and I am the divine masculine. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay, that, 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 that's from a documentary on Netflix, okay? Anybody who's seen that documentary on Netflix is going to get that, and that joke's going to be I got really joke. funny. <laughs> if, if, if people get it, it's hilarious. I understand if you don't, it sounded weird. There you go. <laughs> Look it up. It's a really good documentary. You guys should all watch it. All right. So, Brendan, thank you for that, buddy. I'm going to remove you now. Um, I'm almost positive uh, Crypto Knight was next, then Brandon, then captain then the verse then fame then top gun uh so crypto knight how you doing what's going on hey what's up guys uh first of all uh what's, what's up, up bro? thanks for of the opportunity for for, uh, for talking uh welcome ben first of all like i'm a huge fan from the beginning uh since i saw you people that hate you follow you anyway people that likes you follow you anyway because uh, they want to know like what's going on uh, just want to say, like, I saw you, like, using uh, my site. Uh, 
we are like the founders of the how to pulse and nft on pulse and uh i just want to know i just want to tell you like a lot of people like say here like a lot of good things and i'm with them on everything i just want to add up to it that if you need any type of content you're about like to stream something or like uh need a review about like a project you can always always reach out because we're doing this research on pulse chain with the how to pulse site so we can like align details that will like you have like the full info sure appreciate that thank you cool and that's it. Welcome. Thank you, Crypto Knight. Um, so I know that uh, Moon King has to leave in like five minutes. So forgive me, but I'm gonna let him go because he has to. He has to leave. So I'm just gonna let him speak first. So go ahead. Thank you, Corey. What's up, Ben? What's going on, man? How you I'm doing? doing? Good, bro. Chilling. <laughs> All right, man. As the number one chiller on Pulse Chain, I'm probably gonna end up giving up that title to you in the future. So I'm just letting you know, as the number one chiller of pulse chain i will give you that title well thank you i i am known as the i am known as the <laughs> taker of belts uh so <laughs> it's all joking man all seriousness number one meme coin on pulse chain is teddy bear now i want to get your address because i don't even want you to buy it i don't even want you to shill it now just in the future you will feel that you will have to shill it because it is going to flip dogecoin in my opinion well, if that if it did that. So with that said, with that, I don't want you. I don't even want you to buy it. I just want to gift it. Well, to you. listen. Here's the thing: the, if it does flip Doge, um, obviously the thing to do would be just pat it on pat it on its belly. You know, if the Doge is flipped, just pat it, just rub <laughs> it on the belly a little bit. Uh, I love dogs. My I have a dog. Her name is Solana, uh, and uh, we call her Miss Paws. Uh, some of you might get that. I hope you do. Um, but <laughs> we really do. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so appreciate that. Uh, and, um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, what was the last thing you said there? I, I, I wanted, <laughs> there was something I wanted to point out. Uh, uh, what was the last thing you said? I said that, that, uh, bear will. Oh, 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 I remember. Okay. Okay. Those. Okay. And I'm here. I want... Okay. So, uh, this is what I was going to say. Uh, what I'm going to say is I'm going to, in the next two days, uh, I'm going to create a public hex address. Um, I, I assume maybe there's, or pulse chain address. I assume there's like a domain. Uh, is there a hex domain service maybe or pulse chain domain service? Something like that. If I can get a cool pulse address and everybody don't go sniping all the ones right now on my name and try to sell it to me. I won't, I won't buy it from you. I'll, <laughs> I'll come up with something more creative than you. Uh, but um, I, I'll look into that and I'll have an address and if people look, I'm not doing this because I, I want everyone to send me money. Uh, but if people what? want me to take a look at it, like you're asking for, uh, that way I can just have one place where people can send stuff to. Yeah, man. But, uh, all, all seriousness, man, um, don't listen, don't listen to what anyone says, um, as far as hating goes on. Cause if there's anyone that's got rocks thrown in this community, it's me. You're looking me at too. Just because I was different in the Me beginning, too. but they have they have one thousand percent change. Majority of these people in this room has changed. Now there are still those maxis that uh you know we all know who they are. We know know who they can be and how they can be. But just know that a lot of it has changed, and I do not think this is a lot of fluff that's being spoken to you. Uh, because coming from one shiller to another, that's kind of the same boat as you are. Um, it's real. And I have been somewhat, I won't say all the way, but somewhat accepted within the community. Um, and I am by far the least maxi in this whole group of people. So I just wanted to let you know that I do think, I do think it's real. I do think it's real. And um, even if you, like, please do not become a Pulse Chain Hex Maxi. Like they said earlier, the best way is to talk about all right. different kinds yeah. of things. And that brings it high. So we and get it. Appreciate you, man. To crimes that don't have anything to do with being securities. Um, and so just because, uh, you know, uh, th there could be clear, you know, some he could get totally cleared here for this. Uh, that doesn't mean that they're still not going to be mad about him buying, uh, like the assumption, I'm going to say the assumption, uh, the assumption is he bought designer clothes and exotic cars, uh, with the Ethereum, uh, that people sacrificed or the people sent in for hex, right? Like that's, that's, I think the general understanding of why they're mad, <laughs> right? Uh, so, 
uh, th- th- they may could try to come after him for something else. But it, there's not been anything that's not been an outright scam and Ponzi scheme it has been declared a security. And the community focuses, right? We love decentralization. We want a lot of projects. But you need to have some winners. You need to have some winners in some niches that actually get attention outside of your ecosystem. Uh, like take Bonk, for instance, on Solana. You know, it's in the Solana ecosystem, but it's way out of that ecosystem. Everybody knows about Bonk pretty much if you're you know heavily into crypto. Um, so so it's, it's building and building winners and having the community focus and really help build the winners. Uh, this should have no problem being successful. I mean... Look at the power of this community. Look at it. Like, it's really strong. That's that's the only thing that matters. Like, that's the only thing that matters on a blockchain, right? Is that you have a community that cares, but also wants to use the coin, right? And wants to participate in this ecosystem that has made them so much money or that they want to think uh, is going to make them so much money. And then you have to have one more thing, actually. Like, that's important. You have to have that. But you also have to have viable projects and dApps that are able to be used by the community. Uh, if you just got the community, and that's kind of the problem with Cardano right now, uh, for instance, is Cardano has got the community. Uh, it's got all the users. They love it. The ecosystem's just not really getting filled out uh, in the way that they thought. And now it's still, it's, it's growing. Uh, they put out a recent interactive map, and there's, so there's a lot there to work with now in Cardano. Uh, but now, now they need to bring the users back in because some of the users are like, there's nothing here to do. I'm going to go to these other chains and now they've lost them, I think. So um, I, I think that that's the key. Building, having good dApps um, in the community actually focusing on that. Um, and I don't think the SEC case is going to have a huge bearing. Hey, Ben, real quick. Um, I just wanted to, uh, to say thank you for that positive interaction in Vegas over the weekend. Um, it was just by chance, oh, it's my guy. What's up, <laughs> I saw you walking by, yeah. and I, <laughs> That's I funny. saw the smile yeah. on your face, man. You threw your hand up. We high fived. We talked about Richard briefly. You talked about your stream with Corey and about how you're getting back into pole chain hex. And I love to hear it. And and I'm glad you're enthusiastic. Yeah. Even you know at that level, it was just really, really such a good thing to hear. And and I believe you. Yeah. You know, and uh, and and we welcome you. And I know I know you're in certain stages in your life, but. You still got that yeah. that head, you know, in between those ears, and uh, making things, smart moves. Things are well for me. Like, look, yeah, and we'll everything you, is not man. perfect for me, certainly, but uh, eventually, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, I'm going to get everything back, uh, the business and stuff. Eventually, or whatever I want back, that's going to happen. Um, 100. percent It's just a matter of time. Uh, We're strategizing but, you know, on now. Yeah. On, yeah. So, so uh, thinking about that. Yeah. Pivoting 90% Pulse Chain, your business will grow organically from Genesis beginnings. And it was, that has never been done before. And if anyone can do it, I know you can. So that's cool. If you well, believe that, like right. if, get away from the other, the other chains and just solely focus on what we have. If you just focus under one umbrella and sprout the beach, it's a wrap. At least this next bull run, we can all do it together.